In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate Cohen's D and determine if the size of the effect is small, medium, or large. But let's talk about what Cohen's D means or what it tells us. A D value of 1 tells us that the difference between the two sample means is equal to one standard deviation. A D value of 2 means that the difference of the sample means is equal to two standard deviations. A D value of 0.5 means that the difference of the two means is equal to half of a standard deviation. So that's what it tells us. Now, you also need to know that a D value of 0.2 means that the effect is small. If the D value is around 0.5, the effect is medium and a D value of 0.8 or more than 0.8, the effect is large. So you may want to write that down. Now the formula that we need to calculate Cohen's D is this. It's the difference between the two sample means divided by the pooled standard deviation. So let's write down what we know. In this problem, the test scores of two classes were sampled. The first class had an average score of 88 with a standard deviation of 3 using a sample size of 20. The second class had an average score of 85 with a standard deviation of 4 using a sample size of 20. So for the first class, the sample size is 20. The sample mean or the average test score is 88 and the standard deviation for the first class is 3. The sample size for the second class is 20. The average or the sample mean is 85 and a standard deviation is 4. So here's the formula that we could use to calculate the pooled standard deviation is equal to n1 minus 1 s1 squared plus n2 minus 1 times s2 squared divided by n1 plus n2 minus 2. So let's plug in the numbers. n1 is 20, so 20 minus 1 is 19. s1 is 3, so this is going to be times 3 squared. n2 is 20, so 20 minus 1 is 19. s2 is 4. And then it's n1 plus n2 minus 2. So that's 20 plus 20 minus 2. 3 squared times 19 is 171 plus 4 squared times 19 that's 475. 20 plus 20 minus 2 that's 38. So 475 divided by 38 is 12.5. The square root of 12.5 gives us the pool standard deviation which is 3.5355. Now, notice that the sample size for the two classes are the same. When you see that, there's a much simpler equation that you could use to calculate the pooled standard deviation. When the sample sizes are significantly different, this formula is the one you want to use. So here's the other formula if you want to save time. It's the square root of S1 squared plus S2 squared divided by 2. So it's going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared divided by 2. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 9 plus 16 is 25, half of 25 is 12.5, and the square root of 12.5, which we said before, gives us this answer, 3.5355. So when the sample sizes are very close to each other or equal, you could use this formula. So now we have everything that we need to calculate Cohen's D. So it's going to be x bar 1, which is 88, minus x bar 2, which is 85, divided by the pooled standard deviation of 3.5355. So 88 minus 85 is negative 3. I mean, I take that back, it's positive 3. 
3 divided by 3.5355, that's going to be 0.8485. So based on the information that we wrote earlier, a d-value of 0.8485 means that the size of the effect is large. Remember, if d is close to 0.2, the size of the effect is small. If it's close to 0.5, it's medium. If it's close to 0.8 or even larger than 0.8, then the effect is large. Now let's move on to the next one, number two. The average weight of two groups of people were sampled. The first group had an average weight of 168 pounds with a standard deviation of five, using a sample size of 25. The second group had an average weight of 172 pounds with a stand deviation of eight using a sample size of 50. Calculate Cohen's D and determine if the size of the effect is small, medium, or large. So feel free to pause the video and try this problem. So let's write down what we know. For the first group, the sample size N1 is 25. Now, the average weight, x1 bar, is 168 pounds. And s1, the standard deviation for the first group, that's going to be 5. Now n2, the sample size for the second group, is 50. The mean for that group, the average weight is 172 pounds. And the sample standard deviation for the second group is 8. So we have everything that we need to calculate Cohen's D. Let's begin by calculating the pooled standard deviation. So it's going to be N1 minus 1 times S1 squared plus N2 minus 1 times S2 squared divided by N1 plus N2 minus 2. So let's plug everything that we have into that formula. N1 is 25. 25 minus 1 is 24. S1 is 5. N2 is 50, so 50 minus 1 is 49. And then times S2 squared, S2 is 8. And then N1 plus N2 minus 2. So that's 25 plus 50 minus 2. So let's do this one step at a time. 5 squared times 24 is 600. 8 squared times 49, that's 3136. And then 25 plus 50 minus 2 is 73. So 600 plus 3136, that's 3736, divided by 73. And then take the square root of that result. You should get this value, 7.154 which I'm going to write it here. So it's approximately 7.15, let's say 39. So that's the pooled standard deviation. That's the formula that we should use because the sample size of the two groups are significantly different. They're not the same. Notice what would happen if we try to use the other formula. That is this one. If we try to take the square root of s1 squared plus s2 squared divided by 2. So s1 is 5, s2 is 8. So it's 5 squared plus 8 squared, which is 89 divided by 2. And then take the square root, you'll get 6.6708. As you can see, this is different than the answer that we have. Because the second group has a sample size of 50, it carries more weight. And that's why the pooled standard deviation is a lot closer to eight than it is to five. It's because the second group has a significantly much larger sample. 50 is twice the size of 25. Now, let's go ahead and calculate Cohen's D. So it's the difference between the two means divided by the pooled standard deviation. And we're going to put an absolute value here because we want a positive answer. X bar 1 is 168. 
x bar 2 is 172. And the pooled standard deviation is 7.1539. So 168 minus 172, that's negative 4. But with the absolute value symbol, that's going to become positive 4. So we have 4 divided by 7.1539. And so this is going to be about 0.559. So this is close to 0.5. So we could say that the size of the effect based on the differences of the two means is medium. Remember, 0.2 for small, 0.5 for medium, 0.8 or more for large. So that's the size of the effect. And so that's how you can use Cohen's D. That's how you can calculate it. And then based on its value, you can determine if the size of the effect is small, medium, or large.